Hi there, Pastor Scott of First Baptist Church of Lake Wales here with a couple exciting things to tell you about in the spring of 2021. First, due to the overwhelming positive response to our drive through Christmas presented in December of 2020, we now have decided to present to our community a drive through Easter here on Easter weekend of 2021. It's gonna be a wonderful and exciting event. Also, it's gonna protect anyone from COVID-19 because you're gonna be distance and in your car driving through this event. The membership of our church will present it right here on the grounds of First Baptist Church on Friday, April 2nd and Saturday, April 3rd from 7 to 9 p.m. each night. The event will feature four scenes from the biblical Easter story, all presented in a child-friendly way. Now, the route for this event will be different than our drive through Christmas event. It will begin down at Lake Wales Park at 33 North Lakeshore Boulevard. That's where you'll pull in and get in line and then be directed via signs and attendance to the church property where you'll slowly pass through those four scenes of the Easter story. The drive through will conclude with an Easter basket for children or at least the first 500 who come through. There'll be a gift for a number of youth until those are exhausted and then even a small gift for adults as well. The event's free and open to the public. So I hope you'll tell people about the drive through Easter event here at First Baptist Church, Lake Wales. Again, Friday, April 2nd and Saturday, April 3rd, 7 to 9 p.m. Now the second announcement really pertains to our church family, but to friends, guests, everyone's welcome to know about this reality is that on April 25th, we are gonna seek to come back to one worship service at 10.30 a.m. on Sundays. It's been a joy to serve you and present two services to allow spacing. So we've had an eight and 10.30 service, but now on April 25th, we're glad to say we'll be back as one united church family in that worship experience beginning that day. Why that day? Because we know quite a number of our people have received the vaccination, in fact, both doses. And by that time, we'll have received both doses and two weeks even after those doses will have expired. And so we know that everyone who's received those uh, two doses of vaccine will be fully vaccinated. So in this worship center behind me, those first two sections, the middle sections on the floor will be designated for people who've been vaccinated and who can feel safe about sitting closer together. So we'll remove the, the every other pew restrictions and, and uh, open up all the pews in those two areas of the worship center. Now look, if you've been vaccinated, and are still anxious about being here, look, you can wear your mask all the way through the worship service and you can still sit in the sections that are uh, every other pew and still with spacers to the sides. In fact, you can sit in the risers and the balconies that will be still marked in that way to allow for distanced seating. But for those who've been vaccinated and feel safe, they can sit right in those middle two sections, which will increase our seating capacity and allow all of us to be together again in one worship experience at 1030 on Sunday mornings. Additionally, that same Sunday, April 25th, we'll begin to serve a modified version of Daybreak Cafe beginning at 830 in the morning prior to our Life Connection groups, which begin at 915. So there will be biscuits and gravy and some other things, but we will do it in a safe and effective way that will allow you to, to be protected, to get your food, to eat, but have space distance from others as well at that time. So we're excited after Easter, we'll talk a little more about that uh, coming up on April 25th. But right now we're kind of focused in on Easter. I hope that you are too celebrating the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you'll be at First Baptist Church and a part of that in our drive through Easter and then on Easter Sunday, 1030 a.m. or 8 a.m. that Sunday morning, Easter Sunday. May God bless you and may you rejoice that Christ is risen. He's risen indeed.